30 seconds of movement. So doable. How do you stop weight gain, increase your fitness and energy level when you sit and you work from a desk all day long? In this video, I share with you one of my tips to stop weight gain when you sit all day. Are you ready? Hello and welcome, Tracy here, helping you create successful habits to succeed in your weight loss and keep it off. Do you find yourself sitting all day whether you're working from home or at the office? Fat. Living a sedentary lifestyle causes the hip thigh muscles to stiffen and shorten. Ouch. Yeah. Research has found that sitting for prolonged periods of time creates a state of bad mental health, stiffens the neck, shoulders, and hips. Sitting too long also makes the digestion not respond as efficiently and we know that we need good digestion in order to hit our weight loss goals. Who wants to exercise or make healthy choices when you are faced with painful conditions day in and day out? Even if you do exercise, spending a large amount of time sitting increases health risk. For the record, doctors state that just four hours, four hours of sitting places the body at a medium risk of troubled health. I spend several hours each morning teaching children online. I have found that having and using a standing desk helps me to greatly mitigate the negative effects of sitting. I am much more engaged and way more energized when I teach standing up. You can create a very similar effect by just taking standing breaks every two or three hours. This small action goes a very long way in helping to reduce health risk. <laughs> now for the juiciness. To further decrease the gap between sitting for work and staying on track with your your weight loss. Here is your daily mini habit. First, once you get to work, take out your phone and set the alarm to go off every two or three hours. Each time your alarm goes off, you are going to stand in place and march for a count of 20. As you are marching, try to get your knees up to hip level. Placing your hands out in front of you is a really great guide to help you find the proper height to raise your knees. If you cannot get your knees that high, that's okay, go as high as you can. I want to be mindful if you are unable to stand for whatever reason, so I will show you a seated version. Well, you know what time it is, it's action time. Move at a pace that's comfortable for you. If you are a little bit more advanced and you want more, go faster. We're going to do this for a count of 20. Each time you lift your legs up, be mindful of your abs and try to make sure that they are nice and stabilized. So suck them in, basically. That's what I'm saying, suck in your abs and lift up your legs. Let's go for a count of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That was just the little pick me up that I needed. For the rest of the day, when your alarm goes off in the next two or three hours, just get up and march. After a few days of this consistent habit, you will notice how much higher you're able to lift your legs and knees and how much less winded you are. If you are loving these short daily exercise habits, check out this playlist for more. Next week, it's all about the belly.